Hi guys, get ready with me while I show you how you can create three different styles using the same pattern. For this we are going to use the Lush Garden Dress as our base pattern. This is a beginner edition pattern, it comes in US sizes from 4 to 22 and you have the pattern available below in the description box. Here you can see the original version of this pattern. It has an exposed gather ruffles at the top and at the hemline. It has a back opening with ties for closure, which means that you don't need to incorporate a zipper. This will make this dress as the perfect first project if you are learning how to sew. Also, it has inseam pockets incorporated because functionality is key. And finally, it has back contouring darts to give it a better shape. The pattern comes with a sew along video tutorial and written instructions to use as a reference when sewing your dress. And now I'm going to show you how you can incorporate small changes to transform the original pattern into these new different styles. The first style modification is this much simpler version of the original dress. For this style we will need to get rid of the exposed gathered ruffle that we have at the top. And for the hemline ruffle, instead of making it exposed, we are just going to attach it directly to the hemline of the dress using half an inch of seam allowance. For the closure of the dress, it's going to be located also at the back, but instead of being an opening, you can incorporate a zipper. In my case, I just added an exposed zipper. To clean the neckline and armholes, I'm going to keep it as the original. It means I'm going to use bias tape. It can be commercial or domestic. If you want to make your own domestic bias tape, you can watch the video tutorial. And I will follow the same technique of hidden bias tape that I use on the armhole in the original dress. For the second modification, I will transform the dress into a top. To do this, I'm going to start by reducing the length of my dress to my desired length. In this case, I decided to make it waist length, which means that my top will end where my natural waist starts. I kept the original closure but I added a cross grain ribbon as a design detail. For the ruffle I reduced the length of the piece to make it less voluminous and also I decided to not make it exposed but you could do it exposed if you want. I just did it as we did in the first style. I did not incorporate the back darts just to give it a more relaxed fit but I did incorporate my boss dart to get a better shape. For the final details such as armholes and neckline you could use bias tape to clean those areas or you could cut the body piece front, front and back twice and clean finish the upper part of the top. As a final detail I added a hand embroidery to make it a little bit more special. And this is how you can create three different styles using the same pattern. Please let me know if you want me to create a more detailed video related to any specific style. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you pretty soon. Have a wonderful day.